This time with a flying V. We'll show you the the uh, guitar a little bit more in a, in a minute. Um, this is not a Gibson. This is actually a uh, clone imitation, whatever you want to call it. Um, I was never going to pay two thousand dollars for <laughs> a Gibson flying V. So anyway, uh, this is. Um, a clone. So up close, there's the controllers, there's my head, there's the pickups, most likely just some cheap pickups, and there's the head, and these tuners, I think they're marked Grover. I'm still plastic on them, but I doubt they are. Uh, this, as you can see, is unbranded. Uh, it did come with a, oh, let's see if I can get it right here. <laughs> Might want to turn that down. It's the Gibson logo on a sticker that I could put on there if I wanted to. Uh, anyway, just a, a quick review. Um, I bought this through eBay and the seller had a 100% approval rating so I figured I'd take a chance. It was marked at $259. I offered $220. They countered $245. I think I countered uh, $230 and they accepted the offer. So uh, $230 plus tax so it was around $240 something, $246 something like that. And um, I actually ordered this and thinking it was going to come in November because I kind of wanted some kind of a uh, um, Christmas surprise, if you will, or not really a surprise because I ordered it, <laughs> but a Christmas present for myself. Uh, and it came like a week later. So uh, I was I ordered it in at the end of August and it came in the very next week. So. Uh, it actually shipped from Canada. That's, uh, I guess that's where the port was, I guess. But anyway, um, it came in, it was in a box, pretty secure box that had styrofoam. It was laying in a, a bed of styrofoam. Uh, I might add that in the video in a minute, but we'll see. And then uh, um, the bridge was a little bit low, so I... I just raised the bridge up um, to where it was playable because uh, at first it was fretting out all over the place. So I raised it up maybe a quarter inch and that took care of the problems. Uh, the only, the guitar is in great condition. The neck is great. The body is great. The only thing is, is there is like a one little, and you're probably not even going to be able to see it, but right down there in that corner, there is a little bitty crack. I don't know if it's cracking the paint um, or what, but that is the the only thing that I found wrong with it. The pickups both work. Uh, they um, they're um, pretty solid as far as I'm concerned. I might eventually upgrade them if I uh, if I start recording with this and I feel like uh, it's not doing the trick. So. I might up, upgrade the uh, pickups a little bit, but uh, I'm going to do a playthrough here in just a second, so stay tuned. 
All right, I had to get used to the control layout a little bit because the um, this knob actually controls the bridge pickup, which makes sense, but I'm used to um, hitting that first knob for my volume. So anyway, there you go. Um, here's a little bluesy. <laughs> Playing through a positive grid uh, spark. I've got a noise gate on there, so it's gonna. Cuts it out right there. That's the, the amp and not the guitar. Anyway, um, here is the bridge. <laughs> So, um, as far as the guitar, it, in my opinion, it sounds good. Let's go ahead and do the metal position. higher frets I was a little concerned about getting up there and the um, the only thing that's really getting in my way is the actual <laughs> uh, um, strap but anyway <laughs> One of the big reasons why I hadn't got a V before this was because I was really hesitant about sitting down with one of these and playing it. And um, I'd seen several guys that did reviews or whatever, and they actually will sit down uh, with the strap on. And that is very helpful. It does help me as far as um, playing this in a seated position because that's what I do most of the time. But this guitar really seems to uh, want to be played standing up. <laughs> Anyway, um, tuners work great. These are the same strings that it came with. The, the strings, uh, if you're a beginner and you don't want to change strings right away, um, strings work. Don't need to change them. They're not the Adario. <laughs> uh, that's for sure, because uh, they don't have the color. The pickups, as you can hear, they sound good. Um, the bridge works. The electronics work. I haven't taken it apart to see like if the pots are small or anything like that, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, they sound good. Uh, the neck, they do have the rolled off. Uh, they're not like super duper rolled, the frets, I should say. Um, and I don't know if they're stainless steel or not, but uh, I've never had a problem with a fret rusting. So 
I don't know what the big deal is about stainless steel frets, but hey, if you want them, um, I do have a guitar that has them. They look nice. Um, the nut is pretty, I'm pretty sure that's just a plastic nut, but it's doing its job. The only thing I, I looked at, um, and it's not a problem, but as far as tuning, I'm thinking as far as the, the string kind of, as soon as it leaves the nut, it has to jut both directions. And it seems like that would cause some tuning issues. I know that there are several newer brands that they, they try to make that as straight as possible. So I could see that being a, an issue, um, but right now this thing stays in tune and um, I would be keeping it. Uh, one of the hints that I would definitely suggest is, is that when you get on um, eBay or if you're going to be going, through, whoop, sorry, if you're going to be going through like AliExpress or, or something like that, uh, well, you want to make sure to read the reviews. You want to make sure that the, um, the people that you're going through are actually um, have a really, really high rating. You don't want uh, that rating to be like in the 80s for sure. Uh, I would definitely recommend finding uh, um, an eBay seller that has a 100% rating and they've sold more than one or two guitars um, so that you make sure that you uh, get a guitar uh, that you really like. The other thing I noticed with the company that I went through, uh, they actually said, uh, if there's any problem with the guitar whatsoever, and I got this light behind my head, now that I've mentioned it, it's probably gonna, you're probably gonna, <laughs> whoever's viewing this might see that a little more. But um, anyway, sidetrack, that happens to me a lot. Um, they actually said that don't send the guitar back if you've got problems, if you've got uh, like a missing knob or, or whatever. They said, email us, let us know, and we'll send you a replacement. Uh, and I thought that was really good. I didn't need a replacement, um, but I would definitely rather uh, not have to send the whole guitar back and then, you know, regret the whole purchase altogether. So anyway, one last thing. So this is the box that it came in. It had a lid. It's just right over there. But the when you open it up and then you take the cover off, you'll see that it had a fitted area for the guitar. And I know there's a, a YouTube channel, uh, I think it's Fulton Street Beats, if, if I memory serves me right, but he gets a lot of guitars from the Orient. And the last um, video I watched was a Flying V that he got, and it was shipped I think FedEx, if memory serves me right. And it was, the box was in shambles, um, but it was definitely not that kind of uh, packaging. So uh, the one I went through definitely had the better packaging. So I definitely recommend um, checking that out, reading the reviews and seeing how the companies pack your stuff. And, uh, if you can go through um, somebody better than FedEx to get your packaging, that would probably be a great thing. So anyway, hopefully that helps you all, because uh, I'm not in the in the business of making any money off of YouTube, because <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. And I'm not in the in the business of selling guitars. Uh, I just enjoy getting a new guitar every once in a while and showing everybody and and hopefully uh, saving you all some money in your purchases and saving you some heartburn because, uh, you know, getting a good deal is always a good deal. But when you get a good deal, you think it's a good deal and it comes in and it's broken, you got to reship it or deal with shipping companies or deal with foreign companies and all that jazz. Woo, that can be a pain and it ruins the fun. So uh, anyway, like I said, check the reviews, check the rating and um, go through somebody verified, in my opinion, like eBay or Reverb or something like that um, to ensure that you get your money's worth.
All right, take care. God bless, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.